Hi, I'm Marc-André Langlois, head of the Langlois Laboratory at the University of Ottawa. Hello, I am Anne-Claude Gingras, head of the Gingras Laboratory at Sinai Health in Toronto. It's important to know how many Canadians have antibodies to SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. As this suggests, they have some form of immunity. Testing for antibodies with dried blood spot kits has proven to be a highly effective way to test blood samples from hundreds of thousands of Canadians all over the country. Both of our laboratories are among those that have played a very important role in analyzing the dried blood spot samples shipped from all over Canada. We have both developed essays that test for the presence of antibodies to the SARS-CoV-2 virus. These essays have already been used on more than 100,000 samples from across the country. An at-home collection kit is an easy way to collect blood from large numbers of people. The participant simply pricks their own finger with a lancet and applies the blood onto a filter card that has five circles. Once dry, the card is then mailed back to the lab for analysis. The first step is then to punch small 3mm discs from a spot using a semi-automated puncher that transfers two of these punches into a single well of a 96-well plate. A buffer solution is added to each well to release the antibodies from the dry blood punch. These antibodies are further diluted by a technician and transferred to an automated platform. Each sample is checked for the presence of antibodies against three different SARS-CoV-2 proteins. These proteins are produced in large quantities by the National Research Council of Canada. Using three different SARS-CoV-2 proteins not only increases the specificity or exactness of the test, but it allows scientists to accurately determine if a person has antibodies due to a previous SARS-CoV-2 infection, or due to vaccination, or both. Each system can perform between 3,800 to more than 4,800 individual tests per day. The automated instrumentation performs each step of the experimental procedure using a liquid handler that had specific reagents at different points. The last reagent added will emit light if antibodies are present in the sample. At the final stage, the plates are read in a detector. The amount of light detected tells how many antibody to SARS-CoV-2 proteins are present in the sample. Our two teams have worked closely with the National Microbiology Laboratory, the COVID-19 Immunity Task Force, and the National Research Council to create this Made in Canada solution. This work helps us better understand the spread and impact of the virus among Canadians and their immune response to vaccination.